If you don't know already, the MetaFishers board is a crypto trading, fishers trading board, all right, that you can use to trade on Binance, okay, and buy bid, all right. This board is from BotZ, okay. BotZ um, is, um, you know, an ecosystem that has a board for fishers trading, a board for gaming, a board for, you know, um, trading Forex. You understand this this is um, basically what they specialize in building board you can they equally have board for you know trading um sports and the rest all of those they have boards available for them all right but recently the one i've been using okay that have you know been effective for me all right um is the official the meta features itself the meta features is basically to trade crypto features all right and you can use it on binance you can use it on bybit and the way it works is you connect this um bot or the robot to your exchange via api okay you are connecting it via api meaning that um your capital okay the trading capital you want to trade with a hundred percent safe with your either binance account or your bybit account so you don't need to deposit the money into the bot all right. Now, using the board equally requires that you need to, you know, have basic understanding of um, how, you know, the crypto trading system works, most especially futures trading. Okay. And that is the reason for this um, meeting today or for this video or for this tutorial. Okay. It is just to help you understand how the board work and how you can actually use the board to, you know, in, to your own advantage to profit from the market. All right, from the ups and downs of the market. And the beautiful thing is that whether you are trading on Bybit, you are trading on, um, on Binance, edging is supported, okay? Edge mode is supported, meaning that you can open position in both ways, okay? And close the position accordingly when it all goes in profit, okay? So I'll just share now, the bot comes in, um, in an app form, okay? You can download the app for to, you know, either your Android, or your iOS, okay? And then every of the connections and the trading, everything is done in the app. So I'll just um, share my second screen so that I'll show you how that works. All right, so this is what the board looks like, okay? So once you, you register and then you get your account, you know, the, 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 um, you sign up and then get your account activated. Once you log into the board, this is how it looks like. Now it cost 150 USDT to activate this bot for a whole year. The bot is not free. Okay. So if you want to use the bot to start trading, it cost 150 USDT to activate the bot for a year. After activating this bot for a year, okay, if you want um, to use the bot, there is equally a fee that is attached for every profit that you make in trading with the bot, for every profit that you made, the bot takes 20% of that, which is called gas fee, all right? So the gas fee, it what keeps your trade going. So every profit you make, it is only when you make profit. If for any reason you incur losses, the bot does not charge you for that. But whenever you make a profit, the bot charges 20% of that. And the way that works is that because the bot cannot debit that money from your Binance or your Bybit account, you need to deposit any money you want to use as gas fee into the board. Okay, the same way you deposit money to activate the board is the same way you deposit money um, into the board for the gas fee. All right. Okay. So um, to activate the board, it costs 150 years. It is meaning that if you have an account with the board already, you need to once you log into the board. Okay, you need to come into this menu option. Okay, this three line at the top left or at the top right, sorry, at the top right, once you click on it, you need to come down here and click on the, um, where it says deposit, okay? And when you click deposit, you will deposit um, 150 USDT for the first time to activate it. But once you deposit 150, automatically the bot is activated, all right? So once the bot is activated, you cannot deposit anything you want to use as a gas fee back into the bot, all right? So uh, for instance, what I normally tell people is that if you want to make like $500 for the next one week, then it will cost you $100 to make that $500 because um, actually what it costs 
twenty dollar will make you like a hundred dollar. Okay, so if you deposit one hundred dollar, it means that you need to make five hundred dollars before you exhaust that. Okay, after you exhaust that, then you can go ahead and deposit more money into it. If you don't have uh, money as your gas fee, it will not work. Okay. Now, the board allows you to trade. Recently, there, there are some updates that I've done here. It allows you to trade both cross and isolate, um, isolated mode, okay? So if I click on the drop down here, you see that we can trade cross and then we can trade isolated and you can trade up to 50X leverage using the board, all right? Now, to get the edge mode activated on your exchange, okay, by default on Binance, it comes with a uh, one-way mode, meaning that you can only trade one way. You cannot open both short and long position at the same time, but to activate the edge mode, you need to get this check, okay? So if you have not done that on Binance already, you need to get this check. Even if you have done it on Binance, just make sure that the edge mode on the board is checked, okay? And I believe you understand the difference between um, the cross and isolated. When you trade with cross, you are trading with the whole capital you have on your official trading wallet. Okay, when you trade with isolated, whatever money, if it is hundred dollars you are risking per trade, it is only that a hundred dollar you are risking, and this uh, equally has a way of affecting the profit, the amount of profit you make, and so on. So, as beginners and you know trying to be conscious not to lose money, we we'll go ahead and use you know the isolated mode. Okay, so make sure that you you use the isolated, and then I'll come back. All right. So once you come back, after that is done, the next thing you want to do is to bind this board to your Binance or your um, Bybit account, okay? So you can do it to Binance or to Bybit. Any of this you prefer, you go ahead and do that. I have a video, a step-by-step -step guide that shows you how to you know, create APIs and the rest and bind it up. If you need that, I'll forward that so that I, I, don't, I, I don't want to go through it so that we don't, I don't keep you too long in the market, okay? Now, some of the features of the board is that when I come in here, you have this option that is for signals, okay? You can get signals like live signals, okay? The board tells you a coin, um, you know, what to do and the rest. So if I click on the signals option here, all right, just go ahead and click on I understand. You have signals based on the Bollinger Band and then you have signals on the RSI. So if I go ahead and click on get um, Bollinger Bands, okay? So if to go ahead and analyze the market and when it analyzes the market, it gives you the signal, okay? So let's just wait for that to load up. All right, so it analyzes the market and it gives you signals for this coin, okay, feel USDT, um, it is telling you that it is close to the upper. If you know how to use the Bollinger Bands, okay, you, you, you know that whenever the market is trading, you know, close to the upper uh, Bollinger Bands, then it, it gives an opportunity to sell. When it's trading below, it gives an opportunity to buy. So what it's saying here is that the Bollinger Band level is close, okay, to the upper band, and then it gives you sell. In most cases, when the momentum in the market is very strong, it will tell you here that it is strong sell or strong buy. Okay, so for all of this coin, it gives you those sell signal. Now, what I normally do personally is that I'll go to the in each of this coin, the Solana, the, you know, Zen, all of this coin that is giving me signals to sell. I'll go and look at it and see maybe where the, the, this particular coin with some other indicators. Okay, and if it proves positive that I should either sell, I'll go ahead and take the position. But looking at the general movement in the market, the sell option will actually work, okay? Another thing is that you can sort the signal based on the RSI. So if I go ahead and click on the RSI option, all right? So you can do that on the different time frames that are listed here, okay? One day and the rest. Um, if I go ahead and do this on the one hour or even on the 15 minutes, let me do the one hour, I'll select the one hour. And then we can either check if the RSI is greater than 50, as you can see here, or less than 50, okay? So now the way you use this is that if it is greater than 50 or you, any number you put in here, once the RSI is greater than either 50, 70 or thereabout, you're looking for an opportunity to short the market. And then when the RSI is less than either 30 or anything below 30, okay, you are looking for 
a buy opportunity. That is how you use RSI. So you can go ahead and put in your number, but if I just do with a default here, let's say we want to check for greater than 50, I'll go ahead and show result, okay? The, this will analyze the market and then give you signals based on whatever specifications you have here, all right? So let's wait for that to load up and um, we know, okay? So it gives you all of these coins. This, all of these coins are greater than 50, okay? Some are 55, 50, 56, 50, 60 something, okay? So all of this, you can go and follow each of these coins. This is on the one hour time frame. And look, what you are looking for simply in the market is for reversal levels, okay? It's for reversal levels. And then when it reverses and hits your target, you go ahead and take a trade, okay? That is how to use that. And another thing is the bot does what, you know, select top 10 gainers, okay? And then if you click toggle on this, it gives you top 10 losers in the market, all right? So normally I trade based on the top 10 gainers. You see this HNT USDT that is gaining right now, that is plus 10% up. One thing you should know that it is easier for most of this altcoin to go up and then come back. Whenever they are going up, there is no coin that will go up that will remain there forever. Okay, and that is why we normally say, or I often tell you here that learn how to use the RSI. Okay, the RSI stands from zero to 100. Okay, anything from 70 and above up to 100 is showing overbought. Okay, anything from 30 below up to zero shows you oversold level. Okay, so you can use this and make decision in the market and open positions. So when you see this, if I click on this, it gives you equally a signal. All right for that particular token, okay? So if I click on this, the signal will pop up. You see the signal pop, popping up here and it gives you signal for all of the time frames you see here. For the 15 minutes right now, it is saying it is a strong buy, meaning that this coin that is 10% up now can get up to 12%, um, 20% 20%, or even more, okay? So if you check for each of these time frame and it gives you a strong buy, it means that the momentum here, yeah, I mean, the market is actually strong. Buyers are actually taking over. So you could follow the trend of the market and equally profit from it, all right? But um, what I personally do is look at it, look at the RSI and look at where it is and then know if I'm, I'm going to trade. For instance, if I click on the coin, if I want to use the chart in the um, bot here to analyze that, okay? Once I click on it, um, the chart should load up here. You see the chart will load up here. I don't know why it's not loading. Let me go to the one hour time frame and see if it will load. Okay, I guess there is issue with the bot, um, with the bot ch chatting system. So it didn't load up, I guess it will load. I wanted to show you how to, you know, use the default embedded RSI into the bot on that. Okay, now there are majorly three ways you can use the bot. The three ways you can use the board is that you can use the board in build automated system to automate. Okay, one is the super board. For now, the super board is not that effective. The super board was meant for a higher account, you know, larger account. If you have ten thousand dollars plus, you can just you know plug in that um, just on the super board and automatically be trading and picking coins and trading for you. Okay. But we test run it few um, for like a month or two or thereabout. It was making profit. I don't know what adjustment they made, but the super board is no longer working. So once you click on it, for instance, you just select your account size, okay? And then click on start. But currently, as I speak with you, this board is not as effective as it should be, okay? You just go ahead and click on start and then the board just start trading for you immediately, okay? The second automated board is the S board. This is the one you can leverage on. Okay, so if you click on the edge board, now there are a few of these that are made on the edge board. If you want to use margin, okay, or you don't want to use, that is if you want to use margin strategy, you can use. If you don't want to use margin, you go ahead and leave it, okay? So it means that you need to tweak in some settings here and then put in the number of trade, then the board automatically picks a coin for you and it keeps trading that coin and be making profit for you, okay? Once you set up this, either the edge board or the super board, these are the automated mode of the board. It automatically be trading, picking coins for you and trading for you on the system, all right? And then another way you can use the board is the copy trading option. If I go come in here and click on this icon that looks like the profile icon, okay? 
this is where you see traders who are trading here. You look at their performance and decide whether you want to copy any of this trader. Okay. If you want to copy them, you go ahead and copy them. Um, I have not used the copy trading option here because I've not seen any performance here that attracts me. Okay. So I prefer to use big get for my copy trading because the traders there seems to be more professional and um, you know more advanced than the rest. So I have not used the copy trading with the meta features, but you can actually try it out, okay? And then the last way you can use the bot is automatically or manually trading for yourself, which is what I personally do, okay? So what I do is I, for instance, now that I'm seeing HNT, okay, is increasing by 10.22%, okay? If I go scroll to the left, you see that C, Okay, I traded this coin yesterday, the CHD USDT, okay, is up again by 9%. Yesterday it was up, okay, I, I think 10% plus or thereabout. And then when I clicked on it, now it is not currently showing up, all right? It's not, the chart here is not showing up. So what I can do is minimize this and open up my Binance account, okay? So once I open up my Binance account, on the home page here, just come in here to gain us, okay? So once you come to gain as any coin that is traded on the features, because all of these coins you see here, some are only on spot. You cannot trade them on features. But any coin that is traded on features, you will see it there, just like the CSZ we saw there is here, okay? It's part of the top gainers here, okay? So the top gainers here, CSZ, you see that it has increased up to, yesterday it went to um, 25 cent, 24 cent, and then it reverses back. So what I did was to take advantage of that reversal level when it came and tested around 23, between 22 years or thereabout, and then it went up again, and that actually made profit for me. Okay, so right now that it's pumping again, if I click on it, okay, it takes me to the Binance chatting platform, all right? So um, I'm looking at it now on the one hour time frame. but what I want you to pay attention to is the RSI. Okay, the RSI, this is the number of the RSI. On the one hour time frame, it is saying that the RSI is 62. Okay, it has gone up to 62. It has not hit 70 yet. So what I do is wait for it to hit 70. When it hits 70 and above, the 70 is not where it's gonna stop, okay? Um, the highest RSI can go to is 100, um, you know, 100. If it hits 70, there is every tendency that the market could start reversing from where it is, okay? So you look at all of this in different time frame. If I go to the four hours time frame, okay, on the four hours time frame, the RSI is already seventy at the seventy level, okay. The RSI is already at the seventy level, mean that meaning that the market could shoot up a little bit, or even from here it will start coming down, all right. And then you look at the daily time frame again. If I look at the daily time frame. Um, it is around 66, the RSI is around 66, okay? And another thing you should note is that there is a, so, a, a strong, um, actually, there is a strong resistance at this 26 cent, okay? When price shoot up the, you know, um, uh, uh, this is a few days ago, it went to 26 cent and then it reverses back, okay? So this level that it has not crossed, it means that there is something that is actually blocking the market right here. Then if it scale through this, it could go to the next either support or resistance level and the rest, okay? So if the market start reversing from here, it means that the market could go down to a certain level, all right? So what you are looking for as a trader is to take advantage of those reversers, all right? When it reverses, you take advantage of that and you know take the trades and you can equally profit from that. So at the one hour time frame here, the RSI is around 66. So I wait for it when it hits 70 level, when it hits, you know, 80, 90 and above, I go ahead and short the market. And when I short the market, as I said earlier, um, when this coin goes up, it doesn't go up forever. Even if this coin is going to hit $1, it will not just go straight, just like that until it hits $1, it will go, okay? It will definitely be meeting all these holdups, like the support and resistance along the way. So when he hits the support, it will now you know, be retracing from there. And then before you know it again, it comes and picks strength again, and then pumps again. Okay, he hits the resistance, it drops, he hits the support, it pumps just like that. So what you'll be doing is take advantage of that. That is what exactly I do, okay? Now, why do I use the bot? If I come back to the bot, 
once I come back to the board, there is what the board calls mar, mar, uh, what's it called margins, okay, margin, uh, add margins and the rest. If I have a trade that is going here, okay, for instance, if I go ahead on the HNT, I want to short this. If I click on the HNT that is pumping, I have the option to either short the market, long the market, or open both position, okay? So um, now the RSI on the daily time frame has not hit 70 yet, okay? Neither is the RSI below 30, meaning that the coin has the potential of going up, all right? The point, the, this coin has the potential of still going up, or it has a, percent, a potential of dropping, okay, based on the move in the market. So if I go ahead and click on both, it will open both position at the same time for me, okay? It goes ahead and open both position for me. So let it load up so that I'll show you that, okay? These are the both positions, okay? So you see that now that it opens both position, I'm sorry about that, let it load up. Okay, now that it opened both position, either this one, okay, the short position will be in profit or this will be in profit, all right? So if I open positions like this, I will end up with, using the board, I will end up closing these both positions in, in profit, okay? This first one cost me $11 to open, this one cost me $1. It all depends on the setting that I made here, okay? If, they, if, they, um, if this start going in my favor, it will be adding up adding up when it gets to around 8%, this is my take profit level. When it gets to 8%, it goes ahead and close that trade for me. I can decide to use um, circle mode, okay? It has already closed this trade. This trade has already closed and it cl closed that in profit. Because I do not own the circle mode, okay? It, it means that it is only this position that is going, that is on now, all right? So to show you that this trade has closed, I had to refresh it for this to go off. Okay, let me refresh that. All right, why is loading up? Let me go to my order. So, okay. All right, I, I guess it has not closed the trade. Okay, it's still buying. It has not closed the trade yet. It hasn't closed, yeah, it has not. It has not closed the trade yet because it has not hit the 8%. My, uh, my take profit level should be around 8%. So when it gets to 8%, it will take profit, but it has been covering the margin and the rest. So now the way the margin works is that you have a same direction margin that I have configured here that when the market goes in your favor to a certain level, you want the bot to buy more, okay, in the market. I enter the market with just $1. So when it goes to a certain level, I want to buy maybe add additional $5 to it, additional $20 to it. In as much as the market is going in my favor, I will continue to buy. And then when it buys and, you know, average to a certain percentage, it will not increase. When it hits 8%, it will take profit for me. All right. That is exactly what actually makes me. It's not as if I cannot do this manually but on, on Binance. But what if I don't have all the time? Now, this bot I said, this app, um, this trade I set up, I can go away. Okay. And the, at the end of the day, the bot will end up closing this bot trade in profit for me. Okay. It will end up closing the bull trade in profit for me. For the long position, you see where my, my liquidation is, okay? Now, for the remember, I'm using isolated mode. I am using isolated mode, and you can see that clearly here. Then look at my liquidation. A coin that is, um, that is at, um, you know, the entering price is 466, this, okay? So here is my liquidation, 444. All I need to do, if I want to adjust this liquidation, that is what the board calls add margin here, adjust margin, okay? If I click on adjust margin, it gives me to adjust the margin for liquidation and then adjust the margin for, you know, average margin and the rest. The one for the liquidation will push that liquidation that you are looking at at $4 right now, okay? If I add liquidation here, if I don't want, if I want to stay in this trade for a longer time, okay, and I don't want to get liquidated, all I just need to do is to add more money into it. All right, and it will push this liquidation far from my entering price here. All right, meaning that I can remain in this market for as long as the market continues to go in my favor without getting liquidated and stuff like that. Okay, and this liquidation has to be closer because of the number of leverage I'm using 20x leverage. Okay, so leverage in futures trading is the reason why people lose money, and leverage is the reason 
where people can double their money or their capital within a short period of time. Okay, so if you don't know how to manage this exactly, and you are using maybe you are using high leverage because you want to double your money fast, fast, and forgetting that you can equally empty your account fast, fast, then there could be a problem. All right. So if you don't manage your risks, when we talk about risk, uh, risk management and the rest is the way, you know, the capital you use and then the leverage you use per trade, all right? So this all centers around using use of leverage and trades and the rest, okay? So the margin call is the main reason why I actually use this. And all of those settings, if I come in here, I click on this icon here, okay? It brings me here. This is where you see the list of all the coins that are listed here for trading. You can actually use the search option here to search for any coin you, uh, you want. And another beautiful thing you need to look at for each of the coin, okay? It will tell you here if the coin moves with BTC or not, okay? For instance, um, the ship, the 100 ship um, actually move, doesn't move with BTC, meaning that BTC can be going south and then this coin will be going west. Okay, so we could be in a bullish market, okay, bullish run for this particular coin, why Bitcoin is not even moving anywhere. So any coin that moves with BTC, like this one doesn't move with BTC, doesn't move with BTC. So these are all some of the things that are sought here, okay. This one moves with BTC, okay. When the price of BTC pumps, it actually affects some of these coins that you see that moves with BTC, okay. Anyone that you see um, with this, green it means that the coin is not um is, is actually safe to trade it's not as volatile as a coin you enter and then it goes pumps and go and hit your liquidation and the rest okay and then the, if you check this one is a bit um okay the danger is what is represented the green tells you that this is, is somehow safe okay but when i scroll down there are some that are indicated with red meaning that they are very volatile like this one yes very volatile trade. You have to trade this with care. Okay, so all of these things are sorted here for you. And then if you want to treat the settings for the board is on this icon here, okay? Remember I came in here and then when I click on the setting icon here, we can trick every of the setting, whether I want to open for sell, buy, or for the board position, we'll do all of that there. Okay, so if I go ahead and click on the wheel icon, which represent the setting, this is where we have to do all of the settings. The leverage we want to trade with, the amount we want the trade to pick whenever we open a trade, okay? The margins and the rest, all of them are indicated here, okay? So this is the leverage. We we'll start with the leverage and you can go from 1S leverage to around 50X leverage, okay? Currently I'm using 20S leverage. And then each time I open a trade, how much do I want to open that trade with? I just put in $1 here, all right? So I just put in $1 here. Then the leverage is 20, meaning that because I'm using $1, and I'm using 20 years leverage. It means that for every position, I am opening a position worth 20 USDT, okay? That is because I am using 20 years leverage. If I make a 50 years leverage, then this will change to $50, okay? So that is what it means. For instance, if I push this to 50 years leverage, you see that it has changed to 50, okay? So whatever amount you put here, for instance, if I put in 10, it means that that will not change to 500. If I put in $100, it will not change to um, 5,000 and it goes on that way, okay? So this is always the amount the board will first pick a trade with for you. And then the margin will not be the ones that will add up and the rest, okay? So once you finish with that, the next thing is to come in here to the trade setting. Under the trade setting, we have the number of circles. Circles is how many times do you want to trade that coin before you exit the market? It means that if the board trades and close that coin for profit for you, it can take the trade again. It can immediately open another position. That is what circle mode is all about, okay? If I put in 10 here, for instance, it means that the board can trade up to 10 times before it closes from that trade, okay? And then you have the circle configuration. Whenever it takes a trade, what do you want to do? You can do all of that on the circle configuration, okay? So for the first circle, how many times do you want to buy? Okay, remember if I have $100, it means that if I put two here, it will be buying like $200 for me. If I have $2 or $1, it will be buying two times. But since it's one, it will just be one, one dollar, one, one dollar, or hundred, hundred dollar and the rest. Okay, that is what you do with the my, my coffee. Sorry, I close off that tree, the bot. So that is what you do with the, the 
the configuration for the circle mode. Okay, remember once again, circle mode is you, once you set up the trade, the board will continually pick up that trade for you until it hits the number of circles that you have. All right, once you complete the number of circles that you have, then it closes that trade. It doesn't mean that you cannot stop the trade, you can stop the trade in between, okay? All right, so that is for circle, which is this. Then if I scroll down, okay, you have the trade call start callback. I put all of this in zero. What it means is that if I put any percentage here, it means that the trade will need, that coin will need to move up by that certain number of percentage before it can actually take that trade for me. For instance, if I go ahead and put one here, it means that if I'm trading BTC, BTC will need to increase by 20% ROE before my trade will be triggered. And I don't want that. I just want it to trigger immediately. That's why I had to put in zero here. Okay. And then the reject callback. If it moves by a certain percentage, let, let's say I assume that the market will go up and I go ahead and long the market. But if the market start moving against me by a certain percentage, then the trade will automatically not take place. That is what the reject callback means. Okay. So if I predict that, oh, this market is going up and immediately I enter a trade, but immediately I enter the trade, just like um, I think somebody shared that with me that each time he enters a trade, the trade will go in red. Each time he enters a trade, things like that, this can reject or revert that for you. So if you enter the trade and all of a sudden the trade is going against you by a certain percentage, then the trade will not be placed, okay? The pending trade will not be canceled. That is what this means. Then we have edge reversal direct um, edge reverse direction trigger. Now, when the when you are already in a trade, let's say you long the market or you short the market, and all of a sudden the market start going against you by a certain percentage. I put one percent there. So if I'm longing or shorting a trade and the market goes against me by twenty percent, I want to open an opposite direction. Remember, I said on buy bid and Binance, you can trade both sides, just like I showed you now. Okay. So let's assume I only started a trade with one direction and the trade continues to go against me. Instead of just looking until I lose or the other trade gets into liquidation, I can just use this, set this up here and then it will open automatically a trade in the opposite direction for me, all right? So if it opens in the opposite direction for me, how many times do you want it to you know, take for the first purchase amount? If it is $1 and you put one here, it will only be $1. If it is $2 and you put one here, it will only be $2. If it is $100 and you put one here, it will only be $100 and the rest, okay? If you, you know, multiply this, it will not be that it is taking a trade multiplied by the number of your FOE, your first order amount. That is what FOA simply stands for, okay? Then BTC callback, just like the trade um, callback, start callback, if I put any amount here, let's say I put 100 USDT, it means that BTC will need to increase or decrease by 100 USDT before my trade will be triggered, depending on the direction I'm going to, okay? And then you have to select the time frame, of, okay, for that. So if it is a 30 minutes, in the 30 minutes time frame, BTC will need to increase by any amount that I put here, but I just put it zero here because I don't want any delay when I see opportunity to enter a market, to enter a trade, okay? Then on the trade setting, you can put your stop loss here. Okay, I don't put stop loss because I always use, you know, the liquidation, um, add up liquidation, um, add up margins, okay, to uh, liquidation margin to always sustain my trade. And the trade has always, you know, going in profit. Initially, when I started using this board, I was just, you know, doing everything blindly and I was losing money. But subsequently, it has been working for me because I've um, decided to master every of these settings and it has effectively been working, okay for me. Then for trailing stop, you can use the custom trailing stop and put in some percentage, but normally I leave it at the auto trailing stop, okay? So, and then the next thing now that is important here is um, the margin calls, okay? Now, the one I told you that when it goes in my favor, I want to be buying is this one that is called the same direction. So once you open a trade and it keeps going in your favor, you want to be buying more, adding more money. When you add more money, the trades you know, let's say you enter with $1 and you're using 20 years leverage. Remember that whatever percentage it moves to, it is based on that $1 you enter the trade with. But what if you increase that $1 to $100? It means that you're making more money. 
All right, so that is what the same direction does. When the trade is going in our favor, it will continue to buy for us until it hits our target and take profit for us. That is what this means. And then you have the configuration for that, okay? All of these are specified in the um, PDF file or the Excel file that I, I normally share on the platform. Then the whole position take profit is here. What do you want to, uh, where do you want to take your profit? So now that I put 0 0.4 here, it means that when the market moves or by, or moves in my favor by 8% ROE, return on equity, that is what ROE stands for. When it moves up by 8% ROE, okay, it's going to automatically take profit for me and that trade closes, okay? All right? And then if you put whole position, take profit, call back. It means that the, it, the, it has to increase or decrease by this percent by this percentage you are putting here before the trade will be closed. But I put it at zero because I just want it once it hit 8%, automatically the trade closes for me and take profit, okay? And then the buy callback, you don't need to put anything there, put it at zero, that is what I use. Then for liquidation, okay? If for any reason um, you start approaching liquidation, then all of these settings that are here will be triggered, okay? Once we finish adjusting all of this setting, the next thing is just to go ahead and click on confirm and your settings will be saved. These settings you do there once, except you want to practice you know, with different settings, you can come in and always look at the settings and adjust things. Once you do it and you go ahead and take a trade, the trade will be taken based on those settings that you have. Any set, any trade you have, you carry out here will be based on the settings you already have um, you know, set up for yourself, okay? Okay, so one of the trade has closed already and I believe the long position closed in profit, okay? So the next one we have here, you see that we started this with $1, it has added up up to $41. That is because at a point it was going in our favor, all right? So the first trade closed in, in profit, I guess, okay? So if I click on orders here, you see that HNT, Okay, actually close with $3 profit for us. And that percentage I told you, look at it here, when it moves by 8%. So here, because of the trailing stop, that is why you have to see 8.7. Because if, if the market doesn't come back immediately, what the trailing stop does is that it follows the market. This can actually close at 10% profit, or to, even when you are setting it at 8%, it can close based on what the trailing stop is doing for you automatically, all right? So this one has already closed in profit and, um, I believe this other one will equally close in profit, okay? This last one here, as you can see here, um, is around 0.27 or there about. So it will definitely go down, I'm sure, and it will close in profit, okay? So this is my entering price. This is the current price, okay? The current market price. I believe it will equally close this in profit. So these are just few reasons why, you know, if for instance, I was opening a long and short position um, on Binance, it means that I would have been there to monitor it for when the first one goes to a certain level, I close it, okay? And then wait for the other one to reverse or maybe hits a reversal level, okay? Comes down to a certain level, I close it. But when I do it with a board, MetaFusions board, it handles all of those automatically for me, okay? I prefer to do the manual because I tried out the board itself. The board wasn't working as um, expected. The automated board was not working as expected, okay? And remember, for instance, when you, uh, there is this app that I took a loan from, okay? I use this app called um, um, the Fair Money app. I took a loan, that, that app can give you without collateral, okay? Without collateral, they can give you up to 1 million naira loan, okay? And then they give you up to, I think up to six months or a year to pay back the loan. So every month you pay them, um, certain amount of money. So you can imagine taking 1 million naira, which is close to $1,000, okay? And then you put it um, not close to $1,000 around, you know, between, it depends on when you are taking. Maybe if you are taking now, it's less than $500 or so. So you take that and then the board is not giving you what you expect and you have to pay back this money every month and stuff like that. Okay, mine they splitted it um, for a certain months that I paid a certain amount of money every month. And then you put it in a board that is not giving you anything. So with this, I can make $2, I can make $3, okay? My target is to make anything. My target now is between, um, you know, $15 and $30 on a daily basis. 
So is it that I make $30 or I must make $15? But any day I do not see opportunity to make up to $15, even if it is $10 that I make, it is something for me. If I make $10 um, every day for 30 days, I'll be able to pay back those loans, you know, and still have some change in my, in my, in my pocket and the rest. So that is just what I do. And um, I use this board to do a lot of things. It costs a lot to actually activate this board. If you're in Nigeria, $150 is a lot of money. Okay, $150 is a lot of money. That is close to 100,000 naira or thereabout. Okay, so, um, and then you just use it to buy a board and stuff like that. So if you don't know, if you cannot afford to activate the board, just learn the basics, learn the basics, follow the trend in the market. If you have seen what the market was doing yesterday, and then you follow the trend by just selling and selling and selling. Then you would have made some profit for yourself. You understand? And stuff like that. So I just feel that I should share this with you. Those of you who, you please, when you are trading features, don't be, I don't know whether it is, um, people are being, is it that you are too zillion? I, I can't really explain. I cannot actually explain why. Just like this now, somebody will see this now and you start panicking. It is normal. Okay, it is normal. One thing you pay attention to when you take a trade, this can go minus $100, depending on the size you are trading, the margin you are trading with, okay? But in all, the reason why you, you should not even panic is that when it goes against you in certain percent, open in the other direction, and then add money to push your liquidation price further, okay? See, futures trading is gambling. Futures trading is gambling, in case you don't know. You either lose money or you win, you make profit. So if you don't want to lose money at all, you are not putting, the reason why people get liquidated is because they don't want to lose money. And because they don't want to lose money, they don't put stop loss. So when they don't put stop loss, they are just allowed the trade to go and then keep hoping that the trade will come back in their favor. And before you know it, they get liquidated. But what you can do as a smart trader is when you open a position and then it's going against you to a certain level, because you are using Binance, activate the edge mode, or you are using Bybit, activate the edge mode, open in the opposite direction, okay? Why this one is incurring losses, the other one is in, you know, making profit for you. If it goes in your favor to a certain level, add more money to it in that one that is going in your favor. Why this one? Add money to sustain, to push the liquidation price further, okay? If you push the liquidation price further, then this can remain there until the market start returning back. When it starts returning back, you close the other position. When you close the other position, you will not have enough money to even say, okay, for instance, this is my entering price. And then this is the market price. I can add more money to this by using this adjust margin option. And when I add more money, it can bring me closer to my market price, okay? So when you do that and it goes in, in, against you, you can use that strategy. But this strategy means that you need to have enough money in your account to be able to do it, if you don't have enough money, please just use a smaller leverage, use a lower leverage, 1S leverage, 3S leverage, 5S leverage, it will work for you. It will not bring you closer to liquidation like this, okay? If you use 20X leverage, you'll be closer to liquidation. If you use 50X leverage, the more closer you are to your liquidation price. But if I've used 3X leverage, this liquidation price would have been far away from me. And then it will give you the opportunity to remain in the market until it hits your target, okay? So whether you use the board or you are doing it manually, don't, be, don't try to make the money overnight in the system, okay? 